Hey guys, Tubo2 here. Uh, today I'm actually going to be in a different world this time in another TARDIS I've made. Um, because I only just figured out this feature a few minutes ago when I was testing out something. So obviously I made this TARDIS just using the same methods I used to make my, one of my tutorial worlds, so we'll be fine. The uh, inner workings of this TARDIS are actually down here. So today what we're going to be covering is relating to the Chameleon Circuit and just some more uh, <laughs> advanced options for that. So I brought the TARDIS down here uh, for these examples. So, okay, I don't know why I can hear a um, wandering trader. Must be one in a cave down here. Because uh, this TARDIS is actually underground, in case you couldn't tell. Um, but yeah, for this... TARDIS for the Chameleon Circuit, I've done something a little different than on my normal world, and I just wanted to show that off. So, first off, just like the uh, location cycle that I made in that other world, I've done the same thing with the Chameleon Circuit here. So, it's just a single button on the console, which I think is controlled by this here, and it'll just uh, move this armor stand and power different things. Okay, yeah, that is definitely a wandering traitor. Um... So yeah, this just basically has uh, the armor stand cycles through different chameleon circuit options. Uh, right now I only have a couple actually working. Um, but yeah, that is the first part of this video. Um, very, very simple just because I've already uh, obviously covered how to make the location cycler and this is the exact same concept basically except with chameleon circuits. Uh, and then the second thing in this video was actually an automatic chameleon circuit option. Basically meaning, depending on what like kind of place you're in, the TARDIS will automatically change its appearance, and that's a lot more accurate to the show. The Doctor could never control what the TARDIS became. Uh, it would have had it been working, just kind of changed automatically, but no, it just sort of stayed as a police box, so you couldn't really control it either way. Uh, so right now, we're assuming that the TARDIS is on a grass path block, so assuming it's in like a village or something, it would become a police box, I just thought that made logical sense, and then, let's say it went underground, it was over some, uh, stone, so... And if it was, it would change to something like a little pile of stone, you know, for example. If it went to a snowy biome, it would maybe change to like a snowman. And finally, if it went here to, like, somewhere with grass, it would probably become a tree. And this is a better tree, obviously, than the one I made in my other world. Uh, anyway, how does this automatic system work, necessarily? Well, I'll show you. It's actually controlled right here by these couple command blocks. So you can see right here, this is for the auto... Uh, this is for the one specifically in the village, actually. So it basically just does this command, so execute at name equals TARDIS limit equals 1, execute if the block directly under it, but it ought to be 0.9 because the uh, grass path block obviously is a smaller block, so, but it would be 0.1 for basically any other block. If the block underneath it is a grass path, then comparator will turn on and it will teleport the chameleon cycle armor stand here, which is basically just controlling the, um, the uh, police box exterior, which is the really basic one because I haven't coded in the advanced one yet. And then basically all these are the exact same thing. So if we teleport over here, for example, this is for the stone pile. And you can see it will just teleport it uh, over here. And these command blocks are for the stone pile. And the same deal here, but I just wanted to show this one off actually. The block directly inside of it is a snow layer like that, which is the case, it's not directly under it, um, uh, I think it's this one right here, yeah, is the tree, and basically it's just searching for a, um, I think it's over here, yeah, a grass block, which is not snow, snowy, because that one obviously was snowy, but yeah, that's how to make a automatic chameleon circuit, I just thought that was a cool feature, made the TARDIS a bit more uh, realistic because that's how it would work if the chameleon circuit actually worked in the show. 
so yeah that's just kind of a cool feature uh, those were two features actually um, and that was about all I had to say for this episode in my uh, different TARDIS world I'll probably just be returning to the old one next episode um, but I just happened to complete this feature <laughs> in this world so uh, yeah that is all for my um, chameleon circuit cycle and automatic chameleon circuit uh, feel free to let me know if you guys want to see more videos in this new TARDIS world um, and also just be sure to follow me on my Instagram be sure to subscribe I have been Tebow 2 goodbye